Hi, this is Kevin with Cognition Mobile, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the main DirecTV Remote Plus apps, the free and pro version. Uh, one thing, really quick, they they do both have notifications, and they're expandable on the phones that support that. It'll show you the name of the show that's on, and is it'll also show you uh, which receiver you've got active in the app. <clears throat> So one thing I want to show is on on this remote you have three different styles to choose from. You have your scrolling remote which is pretty standard but you've also got a compact remote which puts all the buttons on one screen. Uh, they are kind of small on a phone but some people like having all the buttons available so you do have that option. There's also a mid-size remote which is personally the one I, I usually use. You get slightly bigger buttons and you still have your numbers which is a pop-up number pad so normally they're kind of out of the way so you do get a little bit bigger buttons there another remote style is the Miimote uh, it is a pro feature but in the free version you can try it and as you can see you could basically customize your remote you could you know put only the buttons you want you could hide them, you could resize them, you know, so it really gives you an opportunity to set things up exactly how you want them. Another thing that the free version has as well is favorite channels. There's no limit on them, you could have as many as you want and they, you could bring them up in this list and tune them anytime. Adding a new one is easy, you could have it tune or uh, add a favorite uh, of the currently tuned channel. There's also a slow motion button which will activate that for you just with one tap. Um, the on now button shows you what's playing right now. It's kind of the same thing that's in a notification but it shows it in a little pop up here. From there you could also go to the mini guide and the free version it is limited. It only shows you the current receiver that you're using and your first three favorite channels um, but you could tune any channel you want you just tap it and it'll change the channel for you <clears throat> uh, there are some options in the in the free version you could adjust your haptic feedback which is how much the the device vibrates when you press the buttons you could turn it off completely or you could have it very strong there's other options to explore and at the bottom there's buttons here where you could send me an email and you could look at other things as well and go to the help sections that's probably about it for the free version I guess one more thing I could show you is to change a receiver it's very easy you just tap that silver bar at the bottom and you can change to any one you want. It's real quick, real easy. So let me get out of the free version. And now we'll open up the pro version. Now you might notice that that color of that button just changed to a darker red. That's one thing in the pro version. It'll tell you at a glance if the receiver is on or off. Which normally you know that because you're in front of it. But if you're if you happen to be uh, controlling it remotely, it's kind of nice to be able to see that. I have an option set for my on now to go straight to the mini guide, so that's what I just did, and you can see that it's showing all of my receivers now, as well as the power state. The first two are off; these two are on, and it's also showing all of my favorite channels as well. So that's kind of a nice thing to have. Another option that you have is you could long press on an entry, it brings up a little bit of information. You could tune it to any receiver or all the receivers. You don't have to just tune it to the one that you're currently on. It's kind of a nice little feature there. Another option in the pro version, you could hit more and you could do a, a web search or a search in the IMDB app if you happen to have it installed and you can see a little bit more information about the show that you're watching or, or the show that's listed here in the guide. Another thing the pro version has is closed captioning on and off buttons. Anybody that's ever done that using the regular remote knows that there's several steps involved. 
Uh, these you just tap one button and it sends those buttons for you. It's basically a built-in macro. And as far as macros go, you could also make your own. You can see I've got a few set up. It's very easy to do. You just hit new macro. And basically you just hit the buttons you want. I'm not really going to do anything here. But if you had certain steps to get to a certain thing that you want to do, you would just type those buttons. And then when you're done, you would hit macro again. And it'll save it. You can enter a name. And then anytime you want to repeat those steps, instead of pressing all those buttons again, you just simply press the, the one entry there for your macros. Another feature of the Pro version is a search assistant. Uh, there's a couple of buttons at the top that will bring you to the search screens, depending on if you're using a regular receiver or a DVR. Uh, there's two things you could do once you get into the search screen. Normally with the regular remote, you either have to use the navigation buttons to move around on their keyboard on the screen or uh, repeatedly tap the, the number buttons on your remote. With this feature in the app you could type a search term here and just enter it using your Android keyboard such as test and if you hit send to receiver it will automatically send that full search term to it one letter at a time Another option you have is you could just use the, the built-in keyboard here. And of course, you can get a bigger keyboard if you rotate the phone. And what this does is, as you type each letter, it'll automatically send those letters to your uh, receiver. Makes uh, searching a lot easier. Then you've also got some extra buttons here, remote buttons, that you might normally need to use while you're in a search screen. Another feature of the Pro version is the list editor. It's under Organize Lists under the More menu. And you can see I've got my receivers, I've got my favorites, and I've got my macros. And what this does is it allows you to basically reorganize them if you want. You can move them around. Uh, you can rename them. For example, this one's named Basement. I'll rename it to uh, maybe Basement 1. and then you can see that now down here it's already changed it to basement one and it's also moved it up to the top there which is what I wanted what I, what I did with the list editor again you could do that with your your receivers your favorites and your macros another feature of the pro version is backups makes it very easy to create and restore backups if you want to create one just in case something were to happen, you could just hit create, you could rename it here and hit it. And now you just created a backup, so if you ever need to, uh, you know, if something happens with the phone where you need that backup and you want to restore your settings, you could easily restore them by going into there and just choose restore. And then from there you could choose which one to restore. Um, again, I'll bring up the Mimote. Uh, like I said earlier, you can use this editor in the free version. Uh, the pro version allows you to actually use the Mimote as a remote. You can't do that in the free version, but you can, like I said, you can design it in the free version. You could even save it. So if you do decide to eventually buy the pro version, you could already use that remote that you've already designed. So what I'll do here is change it. And now you can see that I've got my Mimote. Now there's also more options that you could choose. Uh, one thing that's kind of a big one is orientation. Uh, normally when you rotate your phone or tablet the orientation changes. That could sometimes be annoying. So there's an option in the Pro version where you could tell it to lock it to a portrait or landscape and as you can see it, it stays in the orientation that you chose and then there's plenty of options here basically if you look at them you can kind of tell what they're for uh, one thing that's unique in the pro, pro version uh, is macro delays and that's when you're sending the macros 
you could adjust the delay time to make them a little bit more reliable if you increase the time or you could speed them up a little bit if you slightly decrease the uh, delay time. That's probably about it as far as showing you the features in that. Uh, I will show you really quick on the tablet. Now you do get a, a very nice big surface there. So it's uh, you get nice big buttons. You could still choose your different styles. I don't think you'd want to use scrolling on a tablet, but you could choose mid-size. And you can see it's very big buttons there. And you still got the pop-up pad. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.